Okay, so this is a screencast to show how to set up a function with dynamic variables in uh, GeoGebra. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my dynamic constants. So let's just click on that tool there, the dynamic constants tool, and there we go. I can see that it's called A. This tells me the range and the increment. Okay, that's fine for now. Do it again, and yeah, that's fine. I've got B with the same, another one, C, and a fourth one, which I'm going to call K to suit our purposes for this investigation. I can move those around just to keep them tidy, and I can change their value by just clicking on the dot and dragging it along the slider, you can see I'm changing the value of A as I go through. Now I need to enter the function in terms of those dynamic uh, constants. So I'm gonna start with something simple like Y equals A to the power of X. Just down here I've entered that. You can see now that the uh, software knows that I want A to be one because that's what it's set to in my slider. And I can see over here that that means effectively I've drawn the function 1 to the power of x. Now, if I pick up the slider and I drag that along to 2, I now have the function 2 to the power of x, which I can see is this exponential function here. So, now I need to add a bit more detail to my function. So I'm going to multiply that function by k. So I've got another variable there. Right. And you can see that my function is still the same to the power of x because k is set as 1. If I increase the value of k, you can see, if I was to make that 3 for example, you can see over here that my function now says 3 times 2 to the power of x. So I've now employed the dynamic constants a and k. Well, I'll go back to the function and I'll add uh, c, just simply adding plus c. Okay, that has the effect of moving the function up. Um, always interesting to note with exponentials that c is the value of c there is one, but my y-intercept is four definitely connected but it's not as simple as it is in the case of some other functions. I can now change the value of c and you can see the impact it has on the function. And so lastly I will I'll set that to zero and I will put in the constant b. I want to multiply, I want to be able to multiply x by another constant so I will just put that in brackets, then b times by x, okay, and then I've got a to the power of b times by x, okay, and I've now employed b as well. So this too has an impact on my function. So I now am free to fix three, any three of these variables, vary the fourth, so I can continue with my investigation.